Welcome to Morning Prayer. Today is Monday, November 7th. I am Pastor Keith Free, one of the pastors at St. John's Lutheran in McGuanagall, Wisconsin. We begin with the response of Matins on page 236. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Praise and thanks to God. We offer this prayer. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new week and to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Yesterday was uh, an exciting day for St. John's Lutheran. In an afternoon service, there was the confirmation of 16 young people. Those 16 have gone through the teaching of God's Word, and during the confirmation vow, they were addressed these questions. I'm not going to read all the questions, but here are a couple. Do you intend to continue steadfast in this teaching, the teaching of God's word, and to endure all things, even death, rather than fall away from it? And their answer, I do, and I ask God to help me. And the final question, do you intend faithfully to conform all your life to the teachings of God's word, to be faithful in the use of the word and sacrament, and in faith and action, remain true to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as long as you live? I do, and I ask God to to help me. When you just take a couple of minutes to consider those questions and the other questions which they were asked, it certainly is an important time in the life of those young people to, to consider their relationship with God Almighty. Uh, to get to that point, we know that there were parents who brought them God's word there was Sunday school teachers, there may have been Lutheran elementary school teachers, there were school aides, there were other family members, there were pastors who instructed them in confirmation classes. There were a variety of people who were a part of their lives which brought them to this point. And while all of those individuals are important, certainly we understand the most important teacher is God the Holy Spirit as he worked through word, through the word to bless them with faith in Christ Jesus and then to continue to encourage them in that faith. Now as we think of that special day and as we think of the vow those young people have taken, we are praying that the Lord will bless them to remain faithful and true to God's word. It's an important time for us too as we think of a confirmation it's a, a time where we can think of our confirmation if we've gone through that process. It's a time for us to think about the importance of us re-examining our faith, considering our relationship with God, asking, how am I doing? What am I doing to remain faithful? What if I were put in a position where it might be life or death? To, to remain here on this earth, or death if I was to confess Christ Jesus as Savior and Lord. Now, probably we won't face situations like that, but it's a reminder of how serious this is, and secondly, how blessed we are. I say we are blessed because I'm going to take us to a passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, beginning with verse 11, where it speaks about the work of God the Holy Spirit. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. What we have received is not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught us by human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit, explaining spiritual truths with spiritual taught words. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness 
and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. Yes, as we think of a confirmation day, as we think of the vows which are taken, as we think of our own personal faith, this is a time when God's people give thanks to God the Holy Spirit for his work in our lives, for his work in our heart, for his work in bringing us to that truth that, yes, Jesus Christ is my Savior, Jesus Christ is my Lord, that Jesus has paid for each and every one of our sins, that Jesus has lived that perfect life, that Jesus did conquer death. You see, as these truths are brought to our attention, the natural man will consider them foolishness, will want nothing to do with them. The natural man looks to self, looks to one's own abilities, and says, if there's a heaven, I'll get there. I'm good enough, or I can work my way there. God's word comes and bluntly says, there's no one, not one who is righteous. All of us have filthy rags. We're, we're sinners through and through. And it's the Spirit who comes through God's word, convicts us of our sin, and then convinces us that, yes, Jesus Christ is that Savior from sin. So on a confirmation, it's time not only to rejoice that God the Holy Spirit has been working in the hearts of young people, but it's also a time when we can rejoice that God the Holy Spirit has been working in our hearts and has brought us to faith and through word and sacraments continues to keep us in the faith, continues to keep us strong so that if we were blessed to make that confirmation vow that we are continuing to remain faithful and we are continuing to wait that time when the Lord will bless us with the crown of life. The Lord bless us to continue to remain faithful to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray. Gracious Lord, you bless us each and every day with your word and with opportunities to grow in our faith. We thank you that the Spirit has been our faith giver and that he continues to be the one who continues to strengthen our faith. Bless us and keep us close to you and your word. Help us to hear your word regularly, to study your word, and to join others in weekend worship. As you bless us through word and sacraments, continue to keep us in the truth of your word. Thank you for this day, and bless us as we go forward as your children, thanks to the work of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.